Ladies and gentlemen, hello. How in the world are you, Nez Nation? Great to see you. Welcome, welcome to another edition of Nez Nation Live here on YouTube. I'm so excited to see you guys. Hello, 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 hello. Come on in, come on in. I am so, so excited to see you guys. I can't wait to get cooking with y'all. Let's see how we're doing on mobile real quick. All right, looking good. Fantastic. Okay, great, great. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. In this video, oh, I'm so excited to see you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna punch in the chat real quick. I'm so excited to see you guys. Come on in, make sure you share this out because you're gonna you, you're you're just not gonna want to miss this. You are not going to want to miss this, trust me. Um let me know how I'm sounding. Let me know if you can hear me. It's so good to see you, Sethi, Dom, Launchpad Astronomy, Luke. Great to see you guys. Come on in, come on in. In this video, guys, I'm going to talk to you. Ooh, I am super pumped up about this. I'm going to be talking to you about seven ways, okay, in which, hold on a second. Let me see. Right. Um, okay, give me one second here. It uh, doesn't look like my mic is working. Can you guys hear me okay? Really quickly, let me let me figure something out here. Uh, okay. Um, let me see here. Yeah, you can hear me. Is, is I don't see that my mic is gone green. Technical difficulties, ladies and gentlemen, as always. Sound is working. Okay, hold on a second. I'm not seeing the green light like I should. Hold on. Okay, that says it's working there. Check, check. Microphone, check. Okay. Uh, let me see real quickly here. I'm sorry, guys. One second. I apologize. Uh, let's see. Okay. Where is my settings here? Um, let's see, is it too late to change the settings, I wonder? Hmm, huh. okay. Let me pop out the chat real quickly, and okay. All righty then. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to get things cooking in just a second. Let me, okay. Let me just see. Uh, one second, one second. Yeah, for some reason I'm not seeing my mic. So does it sound like my mic's on, guys? Let me know in the chat. Does it sound like you're hearing me the way you usually do with the nice sound and audio or... Does it sound like there's a little echoey and tinny? I'm just curious. Yeah, same. Okay, thank you, Dom. Okay, well, we're going to have to make do because it doesn't look like I can adjust the settings right now. At least it doesn't look like it's saying that I can. I can. Uh, okay. Let me see here. Okay. All right, so we're going to have to just go with it, whether it's working or not. How about that? Does that sound louder? Does it sound like I'm coming through on my on my audio? Hmm. So for some reason, I'm not getting the usual green light that I get. Sounds the same. Okay, we're just going to keep going. Okay. Okay, fantastic. Sounds about the same. Thank you, Launchpad. Thank you, Sethi. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I know there was, you know, the Nimmin brothers, you know, tragically, and I know you guys all, uh, you guys all saw that um, they had some serious tech problems, and it looks like I might be having the same with the microphone. But if you guys say that you can hear me and that I'm coming in clear, we're going to get going. We're going to get cooking. Okay, in this video. I'm going to talk to you. If you guys know, maybe Sethi or anybody, if Luis is in the house, 
If you guys know how I can check my settings while I'm live, let me know because I don't know how I can do that. Uh, it shouldn't be difficult to kind of just check which microphone I'm using as of the moment. Does that make sense? But we're going to keep going. We're going to get cooking right now because I'm so excited. It's so awesome to see you guys. I am going to be talking about seven, seven business ideas. I get these questions all the time. I try my really, really best to create content that serves you guys, serves my Nez Nation audience, you guys. You know, predominantly, if you're new to my channel, if you're new to this stream, I talk about personal branding. I talk about, you know, creating a message that impacts your audience, branding yourself, communicating your purpose, discovering your purpose, self-investigation, bringing a little more humanness to this digitalness. Um, I've already, most of you guys already know about my training program, my training academy, Beyond the Box Academy. I'll talk about that way later. But this is a channel that helps you discover your purpose, communicate your message, and impact your audience. And I've been getting this question from you guys probably more than anybody. Probably more than any other question I've been getting, especially specifically in the last two to three weeks. I posted a couple of client uh, testimonials. You know, I do a, a brand coaching, I do digital coaching, executive career coaching, LinkedIn consulting. And, um, you know, I posted a couple of testimonials from clients who said I was so blessed and grateful. They said amazing things about my services. And, you know, I was getting all these questions. So how do you do what you do? Or how much money are you making? Or how, how did you create your own online agency? Or is it just you? Do you have a team? I'm going to share with you all that. And by the way, if you guys have questions, let me know. I got my mods in the house, Sethi, uh, um, Launchpad Astronomy. I'm sure Luis and everybody will be showing up very soon, or maybe Luis is already here. Uh, and I'm going to be... Um, I'm going to be sharing with you seven business ideas. Oh, Christian. Yes, Christian. Okay, sorry. Christian, thank you so much. LPA is Christian. That's right. That's right. Christian's in the house. Love to see. Good to see you, Christian. I'm going to be sharing with you seven ideas that you can implement literally today. Seven businesses you can start without any capital, zero, zero money. But I have to preface everything with this. <laughs> sorry, Christian. Good to see you. Yeah, Luke, what's up with you, man? How are you doing? Good to see you, Luke. Uh, so, so I want to preface everything with this. Yeah, Barb, she'll be here in probably just a jiffy. Sethi knows Barb. Barb is the only um, Barb is the only troll over seventy that I've ever had in my life. No, I love Barb. She's fantastic. Nobody, no, I don't get bothered by stuff like that. And by the way, if you want to, if you guys are interested, and this is kind of a blanketed statement, if you're interested in any type of content. Send me a message. Leave a comment below. What do you want to see Professor Nez create? I'm not in this for me, y'all. I love creating content. I'm a teacher. I'm a server by nature. It's in my DNA. I'm an educator. Um, Sethi can relate to this. Christian can relate to this. So I want to know what content serves you. I want to know what you want to know, what, what problems, struggles, challenges, I haven't done a haters video yet, but I'm happy to do one. I'm happy to do a haters video on how to deal with negativity and how to deal with haters. I know I've done a couple of live streams a couple years ago about, you know, negativity and how to deal with people who are negative, but I mean, I've never done a straight up content piece of content on how to handle haters. And I know there's a lot of D D Nimmin. Somebody mentioned D Nimmin. Flash. Yes, Flash is in the house. Uh, D. Nimmin mentioned, uh, did a video recently on how to handle haters, and I thought it was awesome. I thought he was spot on. But, you know, uh, if you're interested in stuff like that, let me know. And anything, any type of content whatsoever, let me know. Flash, it is always great to see you. Yes, kill them with kindness. Absolutely. So um, any type of content. If you have any questions about the content I'm going to talk about today, let me know. Okay? So, um Really quickly, really quickly. Hey, Flash, you do a lot of YouTube lives. Let me know if there's a way to check your settings while you're live because I'm not seeing it. I'm going live from desktop, but I want to know, for some reason, my mic, my mic should be green and it's not, which means it's not on right now. But everybody's saying they can hear me okay. Let me know, Flash, if you can hear me okay. 
Um, no, I'm not using OBS. I'm going straight from webcam, straight from the uh, 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 YouTube desktop app. So that's what I'm doing. But I, I can't check my, my settings. But if you know, let me know. Okay, thank you, Flash. Seven business ideas that you can literally start today with zero money. Seven, okay? And um, I'm going to talk about that very shortly. But first, I have to preface everything with this is not a get-rich-quick scheme. There is nothing easy about running a business, even if it's a solopreneur, even if it's a business that you're doing all by yourself. I have to preface this. I see this way too much in the online space. I see this all the time in the online space. Oh, all you need to do is buy my ebook and you'll be a millionaire. All this coconuts and yachts, all this coconuts and yachts mentality. All you need to do is follow me on Instagram and you're going to be rich. All you need to do is buy my training course and you'll be rich. All you need to do is do this, buy my clothes, buy my ID. It's all BS, okay? There is no such thing as passive income. There just isn't. There's no such thing as an easy fix. Now, do I believe that we're living in an era where there are unbelievable opportunities and unbelievable resources at your behest in which you can create an unbelievable business on your own? Capital Y-E-S. And I'm a good example of this. I built a six-figure business with my online agency. I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. I'm going to talk to you about exactly how I did that. I know, Dom, you're in the house. Dom and Luke, young entrepreneurs, you guys are definitely interested in this. Make sure you share this out. Make sure you let your friends and family know they're not going to want to hear this. But this has absolutely nothing to do with get rich quick. You have got to bust your butt. Most of you guys know this. I know Sethi and Flash and Christian know this. I work 24-8. I'm working all the time. I literally, right before this live stream, just got off with a client call. Yes, it's Sunday. Sunday, July 29th, 2018. And I literally just got off the phone with a potential client who actually I closed, um, who's going to be contracting my services. You know, I'm working 24-8. It's Sunday. You know what I'm saying? It's Sunday. Now, do I have time with my family? Do I have time with my wife? Yes, of course I do. And I make sure to make that a priority. I'm still working on being better at that. I'm a human being, right? I'm still trying to get better at that. I don't think I'm where I can be, but of course I see my family. Of course I see my wife. As a matter of fact, we had a wonderful time last night. Uh, these businesses are not, these ideas that I'm going to share with you today are not get-rich-quick schemes. They're not um, sacrifices that where you have to sacrifice everything else in your life, but you do have to work very, very hard. There is no such thing as an easy road, y'all. And most of you guys know this because this is the smartest online community on the planet, Nez Nation Live. This is you guys. You guys, Nez Nation, are the smartest, most talented, ingenious group uh, of people gathered in one place in the entire internet, on the entire internet. Absolutely. But I have to say this is not um, – I don't want anybody to get the wrong impression. I really, really don't. <laughs> Christian, ain't no stopping. Sethi, get consistent income from my semi-passive income. No such thing as 100% passive. Yeah, there isn't. Hey, Gord Eisman in the house. Hey, Gord, I loved your new video, man. Fantastic new video. I love the direction that you're going with your content creation, Gord. Really, really good stuff. Specifically, I love the way you titled that because that's, I'll, I'll be honest with you, Gord, it worked. The way that you titled your video, it worked. Gord just produced a brand new video. I don't know if you know this or not, Gord, but I shared it in our Nez Nation group. Um, yeah, it was, I think you should keep trying new things, Gord. It's working. It's definitely working. Keep going in that direction. Gord has a brand new video. If you go to facebook.com forward slash Nez Nation, I'm sorry, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Nez Nation, you'll see a brand new video by Gord on how to produce the Gary V um, uh, uh, time lapse bar um, that 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 shows when the video finishes, and he does an amazing tutorial. Gord has a fantastic channel, much like most of you on here. Sethi has an amazing channel. Launchpad Astronomy, aka Christian Flash in Your Pan, has an amazing channel. I know Lion and Luke are busting their butts, and they're doing fantastic stuff. So go check that out. Um, but again, I want to really reiterate this. 
everything that I'm going to share with you today, everything I'm going to talk to you about today, seven, y'all, that you can start today, seven business ideas you can start today. There's nothing easy about it. you got to work. The reason I'm successful, the number one KPI, the differentiator, I will take somebody who works hard over talent any day of the week. If you got both, you're going to absolutely crush it. That's a guarantee. But you've got to put in the work. And it really takes kind of a sort of a self-evaluation, a self-investigation. What's really important to you? Where do you want to be? What's your what's your goal? What's your strategy? How are you going to get there? Reverse engineer it. How much money do you feel like you need to make in order to be happy? Because some people are just like, well, I just want to make as much money as I can. If you say, I just want to make as much money as I can, then you're, you, don't, you have this sort of nebulous goal and you're more apt to just kind of you know, um, let things go uh, and, and because there's nothing concrete. When you have a concrete goal, a concrete strategy, I want to make six figures. I want to make $100,000 a year. Then you, then you start to really hold yourself accountable. And this Nez Nation community, we all hold each other accountable. We all support each other. We all help each other. So um, keep this in mind as I'm talking about these things. I cannot stand the coconut and yachts mentality. That's got to go out the window. Most of you guys know what I'm talking about, okay? Um, Luke, you have some news about your injury. Please share that. I would love to. I'd love to hear that. I hope you're doing better. I hope you're doing well. Okay, how many of you guys are ready for the first business idea, which probably won't come as any surprise? I want to see a thumbs up in the chat or an emoji. Give me an emoji. Give me a smiley face or a thumbs up or a fist. Tell me if you're ready for the very first. I'm going to give you seven, and then I'm going to talk about every one. I'm going to talk about each one. And by the way, if you have not shared this out, Please share this out because I'm telling you right now, if anybody you know or you yourself has ever wondered about this online thing, this thing called the internet and how I can make my money and how I can actually do what people are. <laughs> Thank you, Christian. How I can do um, what other people are doing. I'm seeing all these people make money. I see all these people you know, having this quote unquote freedom to do what they want and not work for a corporation or, or maybe even creating a really powerful part-time side hustle, as they say. These are some great ways to do it. And we actually have some great entrepreneurs in our chat. Gord Eisman does some great... Uh, coaching and consulting. I know Sethi, I know Christian, I know Luis. You guys are doing fantastic stuff, helping people to achieve their goals, um, whether it be tech, whether it be um, you know finance, or whether it be educational, whether it be writing, uh, accounting. You know, I, I, I just worked with a client recently who's trying to create a cooking enterprise online where she helps people with healthy, organic, vegan, sometimes recipes. You know, we've got, we've got a great chat. Great to see you, Luis. I'm so glad you're here. Okay. Glad to hear that you're doing okay, Luke. Fantastic. That means a lot to me. I'm glad you're doing okay. Okay. The first one, who's ready? I only saw a couple of emojis. Who's, you had me at vegan. <laughs> you know, I don't know, man. I, uh, I don't believe that you have to be a vegan. Um, but I do believe that so when I had I had a couple of so I had Gary Cantrell, which a lot of you guys know, he was on my podcast. He rocked it. Um, I also know Carolyn Mall, who's a fitness guru, fitness expert. To me, the breakdown of that is just stop eating so much and just eat more greens, right? I mean, just you know, your body knows it's it's really not that hard to do. We just have to, it's discipline. The same thing with these business ideas. As a matter of fact, I'm glad you brought that up, uh, Christian, sort of haphazardly. I'm telling you right now, what's with the ghosts? <laughs> we got a bunch of ghosts. <laughs> the ghost emoji. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's get, let's get ghostly. But um, I think the only thing that's stopping anybody, I've said this before and I tell my clients, the only thing that's stopping you from getting anything in life whether it be starting an online business, whether it be getting a degree, whether it be a relationship, whether it be advancing in your career that you already have a great career and you want to advance, is the little guy inside your head whose favorite word is can't. Gord knows what I'm talking about. I know a lot of you guys have seen my mindset content. I say this over and over again. I preface everything with this. It all starts in here, y'all. 
that little guy inside your head whose favorite word is can't, if you give that dude the pink slip, if you truly investigate for yourself, what are the roadblocks? Who are the real gatekeepers? The real gatekeepers in here, it's nothing external. It's internal. And I've got an entire playlist if you're interested on Mindset Mastery. Go check it out on my channel. But everything, these seven business ideas I'm going to talk about, they're useless. They're meaningless. They don't mean jack if you don't get your internal game, your inner game right. Okay? That's that's absolutely, you know, imperative. That's the that's the creme de la creme of everything that I try to posit in this online game. Okay? Um, Christian says, there's also the ethical concern, but we can chat about that later. Talk to me a little about that. What do you mean by the ethical concern? I'm interested. I'm not vegan, but vegetarian vegan has always been my favorite. <laughs> Luke says, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. That's right. I'm going to make a video talking about how to make a video out of music. Very cool, Dom. That'll be cool. Uh, Flash says, surround yourself with positive people. It's all in your head how far you can go. Yeah. Luis says, failing mean you are means you are equals. You are learning. You better believe it. Luis, you're phenomenal. You absolutely are. I'm so glad that you're a mod and that you're an honorary member of Nez Nation, longtime member of Nez Nation. Luis, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to see you. Okay, the first business idea that you can start today without needing a lot of money. Shouldn't come as much surprise. That is being a business coach or a consultant. I'm an executive career coach. I'm a digital branding, personal branding coach, okay? If you're an expert in a particular field, leverage that knowledge and you can become a coach. With the technology that you have today, you can reach students, clients all across the world, not just your local area, not just your local region, not even your local country. You can reach everybody across the world. I was fortunate enough I had a client from New Zealand the other day. This was a couple of weeks ago. And I used a video conferencing tool that I'm sure most of you guys know about called Zoom, right? Um, this is a powerful tool. You, The internet allows you to reach anyone that is interested, regardless of their geographical uh, location. And there's if you if you have an expertise in something, if there's something that you are really, really good at, I'm telling you right now, people are building six-figure businesses with coaching and consulting. And there's a whole litany of how you price yourself and how you uh, get leads and traffic and how you can leverage your personal brand to get, you know, to establish that thought leadership and establish that credibility. I'm building right now a brand new course that I'm working on. I'm trying to launch it in the next couple of weeks. I'm not, I don't have an exact launch date. I know a lot of you guys have already enrolled in Beyond the Box Academy. All you need to do, I might as well say it right now, it's beyondtheboxacademy.com. And maybe I'll write that in the chat. Or maybe, Sethi, you could write that in the chat if you, I appreciate it or one of the mods. I'm going to be creating an entire course on how you can build your personal brand and leverage that so you can create opportunities, such as becoming a business coach. I'm telling you right now, this is probably the easiest thing that you can start today. And you can coach on anything. I know somebody right now who's literally doing coaching on how to, she's coaching, so I helped her the other day, she's coaching people who own cats, how to get your cat to want to be walked like a dog outside. Now you might think this is crazy, but there's a lot of people who enjoy going outdoors with their cats and they want to treat their cat like it's a dog. So, so my point of going that extreme is there's really no, nothing that you, there's no set skills of knowledge or set skills of expertise that you can't monetize, that you can't, you just have to do a little bit of research. You have to put in the work. Again, I'm going to caveat everything I'm going to say today, putting in the work. You've got to work your butt off. If you do, if you, if somebody in this chat right now, or you listening to this or watching this on the replay, have not bought your own domain yet, you need to pause this video. You need to exit this video right now and go buy your domain name today, because it starts. If you want to be a business coach or consultant, now you can leverage social media, which is awesome, but you've got to have a repository, uh, a home base, a headquarters. 
And that starts with your website. And whether that's your first name, last name dot com or whatever your business name is, go buy that domain immediately. How many coaches we got in the chat? Sethi says, let's see here. Uh, like I have told someone before, you only fail when you do not try. That's right. Uh, what do you think of my branding then, Nez? Flash, I love your branding. Are you kidding me? You have fantastic branding. I love your lower thirds on your live streams. I think you're doing fantastic, Flash. The best advice I ever got when I was younger, Sethi says, was to cut out the negativity. It has changed my life. Yeah. Uh, Luke, stand up and be proud like a lion. Thank you. Um, Christian, good advice. Yeah, okay, don't say it's all about the equipment because you don't need much to start. As a matter of fact, you don't. That's a real, thank you so much, Sethi, for putting in the, um, the link. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, Christian says, how is teaching people to walk cats count as business coaching? <laughs> well, check this out. She has a business where she teaches people how to, it's basically, it's not just walking cats. But she's basically like the cat whisperer. So that's her business. That's what I mean. Now you can do you can do business coaching, Christian, if you have business expertise. But what I meant to do is what I meant to say, and maybe I didn't communicate this right. So thank you, Christian. What I meant to say is you can create a business out of being a coach or a consultant, any kind of coach or consultant, not just relegated to business coaching. So this person has a business, literally, she's called the cat whisperer. And I don't think her business is the cat whisperer, but she teaches people how to have a better relationship with their cat and how to basically do anything they want to do with their cat within reason. Let's put it that way. I hope that helps, Christian. Uh, Sethi says, buying my third next week. Uh, okay. Sethi says, here, uh, ed tech training and coaching management teams. Gord says, I coach clients. Yes, Gord does. He's in Canada. He has a client in the UK. It's cool to have the globe as your... Way, beautiful way of saying that, Gord. Uh, Luis says, started coaching on using a cell phone. Yeah, let me, let me, let me address this. Let me, yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. Thank you, Christian. So let me, let me address this. Yes, you don't need fancy equipment. You don't need any fancy equipment, as a matter of fact. Um, most of you, most people on the planet probably have a smart device or some kind of home-based computer or laptop at home. And you don't even necessarily need a webcam or a built-in webcam. Um, I think that helps, you know, because especially if you're, for example, when I coach clients on their LinkedIn profile and their resume, you know, I screen share and I show them exactly, you know, what's going on with their profile and I audit it and I examine it and evaluate it, their resume as well. Um, it helps to have a webcam. It helps to have an, but you don't need a fancy webcam. And, you know, there's plenty of links in my description to equipment. Dom, I know you've asked this question as well, but I have links to equipment that I use personally in my description. So uh, to other videos, obviously not in this video right now. But I think this is really important to understand. If you've got an Internet connection and a laptop or a device, that's literally all you know, need. Because as a matter of fact, you can use Zoom for mobile now. Zoom has really done an amazing job. Now, you don't have to use Zoom. You can use Skype. A lot of uh, consultants and coaches use Skype. A lot of coaches and consultants don't even do online virtual coaching. They do coaching where, you know what, like, for example, I do public speaking coaching. A lot of my clients don't like to get coached virtually for public speaking, okay? I'm a keynote speaker. I'm a professional speaker. I'm also, a, you know, obviously a writing professor and a business writing professor and communications professor. So I help people with their presentation. I help people with their elocution, their delivery, their timing, um, their projection, and their body language and everything. That's not really easy to do virtually. So I just want to throw this out there too. You don't necessarily need to do this online. Um, now, the title of this video is Seven Business Ideas You Can Do Online. I think it's the most convenient and the most beautiful to do it online. And I think Zoom is becoming the Coca-Cola of video conferencing tools that you don't have to use Zoom. There's, you know, webcam, there's blue jeans, there's e-meeting, there's WebEx meeting. There's a whole bunch of platforms. Just Google the different video conferencing platforms. Ecamm Live is really cool. You could even do Facebook Live. You could do a private Facebook Live with a client, by the way. You don't even need a video conferencing tool. 
Um, you could do a private Periscope live, uh, Twitter live. There's so many different ways to do it. Just be creative. There's so many different ways to do this. Uh, Seth says, if you've ever Googled a question about a niche multiple times, not find the answer, that has potential to become your niche. Oh, very well said, Sethi. Very well, Seth. If you have any questions about how do I how do I become a coach with my expertise, let me know. I'd love to answer your questions. Uh, Louise says YouTube is your course. If you don't know something, no need to spend tons of much for for that class. Yeah, true. Sethi says uh, you can get started with a cheap Chromebook and a local coffee shop with internet access. All you have to do is start. Stop saying can't. And like, again, very nice, Sethi. It's this dude in here. This is the 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 sort of logistics of all these ideas I'm going to give you is so solvable. And by the way, the University of Google, the University of YouTube, is an endless resource. Dom, Luke, if you ever want to find out anything, like I know Dom, you've asked me a lot of questions about my mic. You've asked me a lot of questions about how do I start a podcast? Where do I submit my podcast? Just Google it. It's so simple. Google all this stuff or watch and learn from the experts, okay? Watch and learn how they do it or, you know, reach out to somebody and ask them. Now, I'm happy to help you, but as far as like the tech stuff goes, you know, that's that's really, really something that's as easy as just Googling it. Like how do I, you know, create an RSS feed, which you need an RSS feed to create a podcast. Where do I submit the RSS feed? How do I connect the RSS feed to my website? These are all Googleable questions. Very, very simple. So make sure that you, you understand that, okay? Again, I agree with Sethi. The only thing stopping you is this dude right here. Thank you, Dom. Dom signed up for Beyond the Box Academy. Thank you so much, sir. Um, and I know, Sethi, you signed up as well. We started with Hangouts, Sethi says, and Hangouts on Air, but that quickly grew into many opportunities, both online and real life. Yes. Yes, exactly. That's very true. And if it's not there, ask a creator, they'll make it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that's actually true. That's actually true. You could go to Fiverr.com, Upwork, uh, Freelance.com, People's Hour, Table.com. There's all these resources. Again, just go, just literally Google, how do I find somebody? How do I find a freelancer? to create, you know, my podcast. You can pay them if you really don't have the time or the headaches. As a matter of fact, it might be more beneficial to pay a professional to create it for you rather than you doing it yourself because then you can focus on creating. You can focus on the content rather than the the, the kind of back end stuff. So um, anybody in here who, who's wondering about their expertise, anybody who uh, is wondering how do I monetize, how do I know, any questions about number one? Becoming a coach or consultant. Thank you, Christian. Doesn't have to be a business coach. I know a guy right now who I, I helped him start his consulting business. He's an accountant. He's a CPA. He's retired. He's about 63, I think, 64. And um, Jim, if you're watching, love you. Hope you're doing well. And he, uh, he wanted to um, create an online consulting business. Um, this guy has been a CPA. He's been an accountant, a certified public accountant for his entire life. He was retired, but you know, he was bored. He wanted something to do. And I helped him. I coached him. I consulted with him. I helped him create this business. And now literally this is like, I think four or five months in, he's, he's already making like six to $7,000 a month. And he just started. He literally just started. So guys, there's not, there's there's so many ways to monetize your expertise. There's so many ways to monetize your knowledge. I can, I think this is a great way to start. Is doing being doing a, a, a executing coaching and consulting services. Plus, there's no overhead. Uh, Sethi says fifty percent of my videos now come from questions asked in my. Yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, Christian says giving some thought as to what expertise I could monetize. Talk to me. Talk to me, Christian, and talk to this unbelievable group. You've got a lot of unbelievable people in this group that could help you. Gord says, I promote myself as a video YouTube consultant, but those that hire me work with more for business consulting and how to manage and execute. We all have lots of skills from our backgrounds. 
Yeah. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, Gord, correct me if I'm wrong, but you worked in the corporate world pretty in a pretty high uh, level position, if I remember correctly. So it doesn't have to be necessarily what you're doing now. It doesn't have to be necessarily anything to do with content creation or business coaching or consulting like that. You know, there's a lot of people who are consulting on leadership. I mean, Dave Halsmer, I know, Gord, you know who Dave is. David's making a lucrative business, lucrative income, consulting people on leadership management. So just helping companies, organizations become leader, become more adept at leading teams I mean, and managing their employees. Um, I know one coach, she is a consultant. She helps people avoid gossip in the business place. She, so she basically helps companies, organizations navigate inter-office politics, which I would have never thought, my God, what a what a beautiful thing to coach people on. Because so many people get fired. So many people get in trouble. So many people, they don't have these skills. Like, how do I navigate the politics of my workplace, of the office? What a what I mean, what an ingenious way to monetize that expertise, right? Okay, Christian. Christian says, Luke, what are you asking me, sir? Sir, go watch my gameplay. I'm in the middle of a live stream, Luke. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Uh, Christian says, well, I teach astronomy, but I also put a lot into my presentation. Maybe that's an avenue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So so I think, I think uh, uh, Christian, anybody who teaches, anybody, especially, I mean, think about this, Christian. This is the best advice I can give you. And everybody else, please heed this. I'm a writing professor, communication, business communication professor. I've been doing this for the past 25 years. Christian, I am a professional speaker just based on the fact that think about this. As a teacher, any teacher, every single day we go to work, we're literally, literally five days a week. Sometimes if you're working weekends, six, seven days a week, we're giving a public presentation. We're giving a, a speech every single time we go to work. How harrowing does that sound? I mean, imagine those of you who are not, anybody who has a fear of public speaking, which 90% of people do, imagine if every single day you went to work, you had to give a speech, literally every single day. And Christian, that's what we as teachers do. Sethi, I know you can relate to this as well. So you could definitely do public speaking uh, coaching or, or, or speech coaching. My God, presentation coaching, consulting. Oh my God, it's insane. Like, Every teacher on the planet could give public speaking coaching because there's no way that you're worth your weight in, 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 you know, in gold or you're worth a, 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 a anything as a teacher if you don't have excellent public speaking communication skills, period. And I think actually teachers are natural born live streamers. Writing, speaking, presentation, branding, marketing classes, business classes for the past 25 years. But I've been doing it to other people. Now I'm doing it for myself. Hence the creation of Beyond the Box Academy, the ultimate training academy. Who signed up, you might be thinking, well, there's not that much here yet. Oh, trust me. If you guys like Netflix, I'll get ready for Netflix. I know you like the sound of that. I know you like the sound of that. Um, so, so Christian, you definitely, definitely, absolutely could. Uh, resources, those that wanted to teach but not having the subject knowledge. Okay, Luis, at the end of my videos, I have an open-ended question so the conversation continues. Gord says, I was, in business I was a business intelligence director. Yeah. Oracle. He worked for Oracle and Price Waterhouse. I mean, for the love of God, Gord, you've got so much ex expertise. You could teach people, consult people, which you do. I know you do on all of those topics. Sethi says resources on ed tech, helping the teachers struggling with the subject know how. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Christian, you're welcome. Oh my God. I would start there. I would totally start there if I were you, Christian. Gord says, what do you say to those that are only just for credentials certifications that are only just for cred credentials, 
certifications in those to learn from? Well, depending on the platform that you're using, so I'm using Teachable for my Beyond the Box Academy. I also have several courses on Udemy. I know you know this, Gord. Udemy has a certification of completion that they actually allow. And a lot of these different platforms, you know, you could also create your own certifications because think about it, it's still legitimate even if you create your own certificate. The, the students that go through your trainings, your programs, um, and are you talking about, let me, let me ask you this too. Gord, clarify your question. Are you talking about course content creation or are you talking about coaching and consulting? If I'm understanding you correctly, are you saying that people only want to get your coaching, contract your services if you have credentials or certificate? I would say your credentials are your, is your expertise, your experience. Um, if people are looking for you to have a certi cert a business certificate or I don't, I don't, I really don't think that makes a big difference. Um, no. Yeah. Well, of course you have to have credentials, Gord. Absolutely. You have to have credentials, but I don't think your credentials on a piece of paper matter as much as your achievements, your expertise, what you've done in the past, what you're doing currently and testimonials and reviews. I have over 115 plus recommendations and testimonials on LinkedIn. I also have over 100 plus on my website. I have an entire navigation set to testimonials. That's your, that's your credentials. I mean, that's the ultimate credentials. Um, one thing that I did, I did a study very recently, an analytical study, where I you know, did some surveys and I, I hired a third-party analytics team to survey and ask questions of just average consumers, their buying behavior, their consumption behavior. And we found, we concluded from our analytics that the majority of people, over 80% of people, they transacted, they purchased, they consumed based on reviews. So reviews, testimonials are monstrous if you want to be a coach or a consultant. Okay, who's ready for number two? We got to get cooking here. I can't do this all day. Who do I look like? Nick Nimmin? I got kids, yo. I got a wife, yo. I can't be doing this all day <laughs> as much as I'd love to. Um, Louise says, Nez, remember the comment on your video about resume and interview I posted? You never know who is listening. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, Louise. All right. Dom says he's ready. Not yet. Hair still there. <laughs> Your channel is your credential to me, Gord. I see your content, and that is your next, that is your inner. I'm telling you right now, here's another stat, and I said this in my new course. I said this in my new course, which hasn't even launched yet. Check this stat out, y'all. Very well said, Sethi. 93% of employers, so imagine what normal people do. 93% of employers, the first place they go to find out about you, your expertise, your qualifications and who you are as a business, an entity, as an individual is Google. This is the era we're living in, y'all. Everything is shifting. And as Charles Darwin said, if you're not adapting, you're going to die. Charles Darwin, who is the um, composer of the theory of evolution, he discovered through his scientific method that the reason a species propagated, a reason a species lived, and survived and thrived was not survival of the fittest, but adaptation, being able to adapt. Same thing for you and me. We got to adapt to the current landscape that we're living in right now. This is where it's headed, right? This is where it's going. So you need to adapt to that. Okay. Number two, number two, the second flash, you out of here. Good to see you flash. I, I, I love it when you stop by flash. It means the world to me. Please have a wonderful, wonderful day and have a wonderful, um, wonderful rest of your week. Uh, we'll definitely catch up soon. Thank you, Flash. Okay, number two, number two. So the first was being a coach or consultant. Number two, and you know, you might think that this doesn't apply to you, but there's a lot of people making a lot of money doing this. Freelance writing. Number two, freelance writing. Virtually every business is doing some form of content marketing these days. So with everybody who's trying to capture attention, people are dying for good writers, and people, especially copywriters. So um, it's also a great way to build up your portfolio and your client base, okay? And the best place I would say, if you have any writing skills at all, copywriting skills at all, editing skills at all, 
is to start with, I would say, Upwork. Upwork.com. It's U-P-W-O-R-K. Upwork.com is a great place to start for freelance writing. Now, there's a lot of other sites as well. And I would caveat everything that I'm going to say to you as creating your home base is really important. Now, when you have your own website and you optimize that as a business, especially a business that offers services or products, you know, and you understand search engine optimization, you understand paid traffic, that's the real, real, and that's that's a little more advanced, but I just want you to get started today. But that's something you need to be thinking about too, is having your home base, having your own repository for all your content and your services and your transactions. Um, you can go to professornez.com and kind of see how I did it. My website is super simple. I know Gord's website is pretty, pretty advanced. It's very, very complex, actually. Todd.live, a colleague of mine, live stream podcaster, he's got an even more complex uh, uh, website. And when I say complex, I just mean, you know, it's 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 got a lot of cool graphics, a lot of cool mechanics and back-end stuff and landing pages and just really, really, it's super professional and awesome. I don't think you need that much to start, though. That's more for advanced people. To start, you can just open up a Squarespace account, WordPress site, or what have you, and it's really, really easy. But freelance writing, any writers in the house, anybody who thinks that they might be a good writer or have writing skills, copywriting skills, great to see you, Flash. Yeah, Christian, adapt and overcome. Uh, Sethi says, adaptation, you might like him or not, but PewDiePie is the perfect YouTube example. He's continually mixed up his content. Yeah, absolutely. As a matter of fact, I kind of like PewDiePie. I have no problem with PewDiePie. Yeah, you should make a course. You should make a course, Dom. Absolutely. Luke, who are you talking to? Why don't you like me? <laughs> I don't know who you're talking to. Of course we like you, Luke. What is going on with you? Um, Christian says, I'm married to a writer. My mother is an English professor, so yeah, I can write. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Good job. Good job, Christian. Yeah, I mean, that's a great way. I, I know people who are making six figures just doing writing and freelance writing, six figures a year. So Christian, there's another thing. I mean, I, I, I don't know about you fellow educators in here. Uh, I'm not sure, you know, how you feel about your educational institution or where you work. But I know for me, I'm going to be completely transparent and uh, honest with y'all. Can't stand them. Can't stand them. I love my students, but the bureaucratic nightmare that is education, it drives me effing nuts. Can't stand it. So how does Professor Nez feel having a six-figure consulting business? How does Professor Nez feel about selling info products like eBooks and courses? How does Professor Nez feel about Professor Nez agency? Well, I feel very, very blessed, and I feel very, very lucky, and you best believe it is the best thing that ever happened to Nez, best thing that ever happened to me. Um, I'm able to draw upon all of my business experience when I started my family's business when I was 13, all of my educational experience when I left the private sector and went into the public sector, all of my communication skills, which guys... Don't get it twisted, all right? I did a video about this. It's not all about science, technology, engineering, math. This is your ultimate weapon right here, y'all, your mouth, your ability to communicate with people, the ability to convey your purpose to a specific audience and impact them in one way or another. The majority of my, my clients come from me getting on the phone with them and closing the deal and talking to them and being human with them and conveying why they should work with me compelling them to work with me. Do you guys get this? So Christian, you could make a six-figure business out of freelance writing like today, literally. Uh, <laughs> Christian says, my plan is to set up a business to support my teaching habit. Sethi, I love the profession, love my school, love my students, but the educational institution and red tape attached to it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The students are awesome. And my, my colleagues are cool too. Um, the students I love more than anything, but the bureaucratic red tape, the bureaucracy is an absolute nightmare and a half. It is. It just is. So freelance writing, there's so many ways to do this. There's also, I mean, there's other freelance avenues, not just writing, obviously. 
Um, you could do um, freelance. Um, you could do. Uh, uh, there's so many different ways. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm kind of lost for words right now, but it's not just freelance writing. Um, you could do freelance videography, freelance graphic design. Um, find out what you're really good at, find out what you specialize in and you can do freelancing very, very easy. My, my pick besides Upwork is you should be on fiverr.com. You can set up an account on fiverr.com. Luis says, Louise says, you nailed it. Keyword, be grateful. You said it. I'm blessed. Couldn't have said it better. Thank you, Louise. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, why am I sharing this information with you? Why am I going live with you on a Sunday afternoon? Which, Sethi, I know it's like four in the Where is it, Sethi? Are you still in, in Thailand? Let me know, Sethi, in the comments. Why am I sharing this? Because I want you to experience the joy, the freedom, <sighs> this beautiful exhale that I just let out that feeling of relief, you're in control of your own destiny. You get to decide how much your business succeeds or does not succeed. You don't need a team of 7,000 people, 30 people, 40 people. You don't need fancy equipment, as Luis and others said. You can do all this today, right now. And yes, if you put in the work, again, I have to stress this. This is not coconuts and yachts. If you put in the work, yes, you can make some serious coin and you can replace that crappy nine to five that you have. And nine to five comes in myriads of forms, not just a strictly nine to five gig. Absolutely, I'm, I'm blessed. Sethi says, I've added freelance. I've started adding freelance. Very nice. Oh, thank you, Luke. You're very sweet. Luke, I hope you're doing great. Sethi says, flying home to Thailand from Europe tomorrow morning. So, yeah, timing will be tricky. Yeah, you guys, really quickly, I love this time for, you know, and it's consistent, right? I've been doing this several Sundays in a row, right? Next Sunday, I'm not going to be able to do this. But, again, leave in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. We've been doing some pretty consistent Sunday afternoon YouTube live streams. Let me know if this is a good time or what do you propose would be best times because I want all of y'all to be here every time I go live. So again, it's not about what's convenient for me. I want to know what the best times are for you. What's convenient for me is 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time US that I go live on YouTube. That's really the most convenient time. But I want to know from you guys because this is not about me. It's got nothing about me. It has to do with you. Mindset. Mindset is everything. If you have a people-centric, customer-centric, audience-centric mindset. You will always win, y'all. You'll always win. Don't make your services about you. When you get in that interview, if you want to interview, if you're thinking about interviewing for a job, don't make it about you. Make it about what problem you can solve for that entity, that organization. That's everything. So yeah, I'd love to know. Luis says it's a good time. Thank you, Gord. Thank you, Luke. I appreciate that. Christian says, this is a good time for me. Sethi, I really want Sethi here. Sethi, I really, really want you here. Okay, who's ready for number three? This may come as a big shock. This may come as a big shock, and this may not even apply to everybody, but the, the, the three after, I think, are really going to apply to everybody. This third one really applies to my wife, <laughs> big time. But I have to mention this because it's huge, and it's it's just getting more and more steam uh, as an online business and just a business in general that you can start today. Not just an online business, obviously, um, but the way that you orchestrate it can be online. Uh, number three, let me know if you're ready in the chat. I want to see some thumbs up emojis. I want to see some. I don't know about. I mean, I guess the the consistency has been the uh, the ghost emoji. <laughs> So let me know if you're ready. Let me know if you're ready for or for number three. Let me know, y'all. <laughs> Christian, Christian, don't be a wise ass. <laughs> Santa Claus, really, Christian? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, number three. Are you guys ready for this? You're going to be shocked. Home organization. Home organization. Decluttering. Organizing a home, 
I'm telling you right now, this is for all you neat nicks out there. Now, I'm a very big neat person. At least I thought I was until I met my wife. My wife is like a neat Nazi, if you will. And I love her to death. I'm not, I'm not dissing her by any means. I'm the luckiest man on earth. Luis, you want to talk about blessed and lucky. I've got a gorgeous, drop-dead gorgeous, intelligent wife. I hit the jackpot. I'm very, very lucky. Home organization. Home organization. Um, home organization services are just like literally like blowing up, Okay. So um, people who are offering, now, this can be an online business. I really, truly feel this. So many people now in this hyper-consumer culture that we're living in, they're having, and plus, this relates to the fact that both people, in the, both, both mom and dad, or dad and dad, or mom and mom, or whatever you got, or both individuals are working so much more nowadays that there's zero time to organize the home. There's zero time to declutter that stuff just piles up and piles up and piles up where there are plenty of people right now who have home organization businesses, declutter experts. Hey, here's a consulting idea. You could be an organiz a home organization consultant, right? Let's say somebody, I mean, has no idea how, where to even start with their home. You can definitely consult them. You might even be able to do this virtually. I mean, you don't, maybe you don't have to be there with all the technology that we have now. You might be able to do this virtually. I truly believe this. But my wife, when my wife cleans the house, I've never seen a more spick and span house. I've never seen a more clean room. I've never seen things organized so unbelievably meticulously uh, in containers and compartments and drawers and cupboards like she has. And I've actually been trying to talk her into starting a home organization business. But I'm telling you right now, this is something that is growing exponentially. I've done a lot of research before this live stream. Home organization businesses are getting out of control and not necessarily cleaning businesses because, I mean, we all know about cleaning businesses. I'm talking organization. In this hyper-consumer culture, in this hyper-connected you know, landscape that we're living in right now, in this ever ceaselessly never ending work, you know, uh, uh, environment that we're living in right now, where people, more and more people are working overtime, past work hours, weekends, there's very little time to organize homes. And there is a lot of psychology and neuroscience to, you know, feng shui, home organization, decluttering that relates to energy, relates to your levels of, you know, performance and relationships. It's insane. There's a science behind this. So home organization business, if you're a neat Nick, if you think you've got a knack for organizing homes, if you're one of those organizational pros or you have been called that by your friends and family, this might be the perfect business for you. And you can start offering this service today. I mean, you could get on Craigslist right now and say, I will organize your home for $200. Give me a call. Hello. Luke says, hashtag light bulb. Uh, Sethi says, yeah, I need that. Yeah. Getting married helps as well. <laughs> That's absolutely true. Having kids nullifies that later on. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Christian says, my wife and I both have ADHD, so we're not the most organized. Yeah, I can definitely say uh, I can definitely say the same thing. I can definitely say the same thing. So yeah, number 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 three, number three, home organization. That's a really, really big one. Okay. So um, for all you neat nicks out there. Now, number four is a little more universal. I know people making bank on number four. I'm going to kind of get through these last um, four here a, a little bit quicker because we've already been going for over an hour. And, and uh, um, so, so I'm going to try to try to kind of maybe just pick things up just a tad. Don't get, don't get scared. You're still going to get valuable information, but I'm going to pick it up just a tad. Number four, number four. So I'm going to review everything too, by the way. Number four, VA, VA. Let me know if you know what I'm talking about in the chat. I'm going to test you. You can become a VA. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Let's see who the first person is to uh, come up with uh, what a VA is. Look at Christian. Christian in fuego. You nailed it. Boom. That's right. Virtual assistant. I know people who are making bank being a virtual assistant, not just for one client, by the way. But more and more industries, y'all, are hiring remotely. Remote work has increased over 30% in the last three years. 
So there's more opportunities to work at home as a virtual assistant. As a matter of fact, here's something really interesting. I actually applied for this, by the way, because I was interested in becoming more of an expert at Facebook ads. There was a social media agency, a pretty big one, that was offering 100% remote work to be a Facebook ads account manager for big clients and companies. And it was they were saying that you could earn six figures being a Facebook ads account manager and you could work entirely from home. Remote work is just it's it's just gonna we're not gonna drive into work anymore, y'all. It's just not gonna happen. There's there's gonna be no more driving into work. Um, maybe company seminars and meetings and things of that nature, but I don't even th let me take that back. Meetings, forget about it. Virtual is going to be the predominant form of communication, the predominant form of operating. It already is. It's just going to get more and more. Technology never goes backward. It always goes forward. Okay. So you can start with a small client as a VA virtual assistant, a single client. And then once you start to kind of identify your specialty in an area you want to focus on more, you know, let's say, for example, like social media customer service or what have you, or maybe you want to work as a VA for somebody who owns a pretty big e commerce store filling orders or what have you, then you can start taking on more clients. And more clients, more Monet. So virtual assistant, you can literally start that today. You can start advertising yourself as a virtual assistant. And they, I know people who are making six figures being a virtual assistant. Again, I have to caveat all this. I have Tom Nash. Good to see you, brother. How are you, Tom? All right. Good to see Tom Nash in the house. All right. Fantastic. Yeah, thank you so much, Tom. I'm glad you're here. I'm so glad you're here. It's so great to see you. Fantastic. Tom is awesome. Um, you can literally start this today. And I know people who are, again, I have to caveat all this, though. HW, as my man Gary Cantrell says, hard work always wins. He trademarked that phrase, by the way. Smart entrepreneur. Hard work always wins. Hard work over talent. All, you know, always wins. If you've got both, you're a triple threat, not a double threat. You're a triple threat. I don't know how that kind of works mathematically, but I just like the sound of triple threat. <laughs> so virtual assistant, that's number four. Who's ready for number five? Who's ready? Anybody in here know a virtual assistant or have a virtual assistant? I'm actually thinking about hiring a virtual assistant for my, uh, for my online agency. I dream of Palestine. Okay, good question. What experience and qualifications do you need to be a VA and how do you start? Not a lot. You really don't. Um, depending on who you work for or where you, what company, what organization and what they need as far as like, so for example, the, in the example that I talked about um, where they wanted a Facebook ads account manager, which is basically a virtual assistant. They basically want me to take on accounts because they have too many clients for their social media agency. And they wanted to basically outsource. So, you know, they were actually going to train us too. They were, I, I didn't get the gig. I don't know why. I even sent them a cool video. Maybe they just stopped hiring. This was a while ago. But um, they basically were going to train me. So, I mean, I think as long as you, you know, like it would be like any other job or any other kind of assistant position, like as long as you have credentials or experience in, let's say, for example, um, you want to be a VA for an e-commerce store, right? Like I said, or you want to be a virtual assistant for an executive, right? As long as you have, you know, skills within that specific niche or a background and you have an internet connection and you have pretty good, you know, device that you can connect with, I think you're going to be fine. I mean, that's, that's really all it takes. I don't, I, there's not a lot to it. I've never been in a VA and I've never applied for a VA. The closest I came to being a VA was working for this social media agency as a Facebook ads account manager, but that was the closest. And they were willing to do the training for us. They were going to train us, pay us, and we could work 100% remotely. The key is 100% remotely. Sethi says, a friend of mine does this full-time for five clients, lives in Bali, travels the world. I've heard a million stories just like that. I've heard a million stories just like that, Sethi. Thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, Luke says, I'm going to get rest. Great to see you, Luke. Thank you so much for joining us, brother. Have a wonderful rest. Uh, and it's not easy money, people. No, 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 no. Thank you, Sethi. Thank you. 
Um, absolutely. Mayo, how nice to see you. Thank, thank you, Luke. It's always great to see you. Nothing, everything I'm telling you right now has to be contingent upon the amount of work that you put in. Everything is the underlying thread, the sustenance of your success, the fuel of your success is going to be the amount of work that you put into it, period, period. This is not coconuts and yachts. None of this. I should have a t-shirt that says coconuts and yachts. How many people want a Nez Nation shirt, by the way? I'm going to go create some Nez Nation shirts, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send them all to you guys for free, especially Nez Nation members. I'm going to definitely do that. Uh, that's going to happen very, very soon. I'll put multiple colors, too. I'll do like a white shirt, a black shirt, maybe a blue or red shirt. No, this is, this is definitely not easy peasy. None of this. Absolutely nothing. You have to work your butt off. You have to work your butt off. Okay, number five. This goes for Sethi and Christian for sure. This has become a big business right now, especially online. Language teaching. It doesn't have to necessarily be English, by the way. Language teaching. If you speak English well, or Spanish well, or Italian well, or Portuguese, or Russian, or German, and you don't mind chatting with strangers, you have all the qualifications you need to try your hand at online language teaching. Okay, you could do even better if you're multilingual. But um, language teaching and consulting, oh my God, there is unbelievable, unbelievable opportunities for you to teach people languages. And one-on-one -on -one coaching or group coaching or live workshops, training, courses, again, this is, a, this is a great, great business that you guys could do. That's number five, language teaching. That's a business you can start literally today with zero, zero capital. Just start putting that service out there. Start promoting yourself as somebody who can help people solve a problem of language. What other lang whatever language that may be. ESL, you know, plenty of people who do that. Um, how about a cup for my coffee? Yes, a Nez Nation cup. Yes, you're right, Luis. By the way, can you guys see that? You probably can't see that. Can you guys see that right there? Hashtag Nez Nation. It's kind of fading. But here's my, yeah, you can't probably see that. Uh, no. You probably can't see that. The light's not letting it. But it says Nez Nation on there. Yeah, I'm going to be doing some merch. I'm going to be doing some merch. I have to say it like that. Sorry, it feels ridiculous. Um, no, you, 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 I think, I think you definitely do have to be a bilingual uh, Christian. Um, but I, I don't, I don't, I know that I have a client. Let me tell you this, Sethi. I actually don't think you have to be uh, bilingual. And I'll tell you how they do it. So she teaches English um, to uh, Asian Americans, and she requires in the services that there be an interpreter there. So this is interesting. So somebody, like especially somebody who doesn't know the language at all, like they usually have a family member or somebody younger, because it's not just about like, you might be saying to yourself, well, how come the interpreter doesn't teach them? Because you know as well as I do, Christian, teaching is an art, it's a science. So the individual who knows the, uh, who's the, let's say English, let's say they, here's the example. She's teaching English to Asian Americans where English is a second language and she's doing all of this online. I actually consulted with her several months ago and she is, she put in there a stipulation, please have somebody, a friend or family member in the, in the coaching session until they become more adept, right? Obviously it's not for the entire, like, you know, duration of the lessons, but for the first couple of lessons, she requires an interpreter there to kind of help sort of translate. Does that make sense, you guys? Thank you, Gord. Always great to see you. Thank you. Watch the replay. You might find the next couple to be really, really valuable. Language teaching. Language teaching online is fantastic. Okay, who's ready for number six? Send me an emoji in the chat. Who's ready for number six? The number six business idea, we're getting close to the end. The number six business idea that you can start today with Cero, Cero Capital. By the way, by the way, really quickly before I get to number six, most of you guys already know this, 
beyondtheboxacademy.com. This is the greatest online training academy on the planet where we're going to be teaching you personal branding, communications, um, discovering your purpose, impacting your audience, leadership, negotiation, career coaching, job searching, live streaming, content creation, the whole gamut. This is an academy that I have recently launched. I'm opening up membership as free for now. And then it's going to be a monthly subscription. But uh, I want to just relay that out to you guys. Come on in. Come on in. Go to beyondtheboxacademy.com. Thank you so much, Sethi. You're the man. Beyondtheboxacademy.com. You can click on that link that Sethi just provided right there. And please join up because you don't want to miss this, y'all. You really don't want to miss this. It's the greatest online training academy on the planet. Ask me about how I came up with that name in just a little bit. Number six, house or pet sitting. House or pet sitting. This has become something really, really big because think about it. Think about it. People go on vacations all the time, right? Family members, grandma, grandpa can't always sit and watch the house. And some people like to take vacations for a month, two to three weeks. And, you know, the house can uh, definitely uh, falter if there's nobody there to kind of check it out, keep things, can check the mail, dogs, pet sitting. This has become huge huge. Reputation is everything here. Okay. So, um, you know, if, if focus on, this is what I would say with house or pet sitting, focus on building up a reputation that's respectful, trustworthy, keeping the client's needs first, thinking about what they would want in a house sitter. Okay. But you could definitely start this today. You could start putting yourself out there as somebody who does pet sitting and house sitting you can charge exorbitant amounts of money for doing this. It's a lucrative, lucrative business idea. I know people who are making easily, easily five figures a month doing pet sitting specifically. House sitting, I'm not so sure. I've never actually coached somebody on house sitting, but this has become a burgeoning area of starting a business, you know, a house sitting business. And if you can really optimize your business for search, your website for search, anybody who types in like need a house sitter, Watch what happens. You're going to get a lot of traffic because you'll be surprised. There may even be people in your neighborhood, even local, next door. I would say for house sitting, definitely promote your services with the next door app. How many people have heard of the next door app? Yes. Yes, Christian. Five figures a month. Absolutely. Christian, there are people who are ready to give you money. The only thing stopping you is that dude inside your head. It's the same thing that I experienced when I first started my agency, my online agency. I'm telling you right now, Christian, there are people who are willing to pay top dollar. Hey, Christian, will you watch my house for two weeks? Sure. Here's $1,000. Here's $500. Here's $450. Here's $325. Do that consistently? Watch people's houses? You can have 10, 12 houses a month that you watch, that you sit for. You just go around especially if it's in the, within the same radius, I would say the best app to promote your house sitting services and your pet sitting services actually is the Nextdoor app. If you don't know what the Nextdoor app is, just Google it. It's called Nextdoor. It's a way to check and see. And it's basically a social media website for so localized that it's literally within a 25, 20 mile radius. Everybody who, your baby, your, your neighbors, you know, you can chat with them. You can promote products and services. I do it all the time. I use the Nextdoor app. It's phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. Yes, this is an amazing, amazing time we're living in. It's really all about connectivity, right? I mean, these seven business ideas, you could definitely have started 10, 12, 15 years ago, of course, but you wouldn't have been. It would, I think it's much more lucrative and easier to do all this stuff now with the unbelievable tech that we have now, the unbelievable connectivity that we have now, right? I'm live streaming from Southern California. Most of you guys are nowhere near me. Gord's in Canada, Sethi's in Europe, in Thailand. Uh, you know, I mean, this is insane. This is how beautiful this technology is. You know, I mean, it's, 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 it's an unbelievable way to bring value. It's an unbelievable way to make money. Okay. And the only way you're going to make money, Sethi, back me up. Everybody in the chat, Nez Nation, back me up. Work your butt off. Work hard. Bring value to an audience. Serve, 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 serve. I can say serve 
ad infinitum, serve. Luis is in Boston, Boston. I mean, it's absolute insanity. So yeah, house sitting and pet sitting. Think about this, y'all. What an amazing business idea. There's so many. I mean, guys, there's so many ideas out there that you can start a business like today. You just got to be creative, y'all. You just got to be creative. I worked with a law enforcement agent. I worked with a law enforcement agent. This guy on the weekends, he helps train people on self-defense. And some of it is virtual, not all of it, because he does physical demonstrations, but I'm actually getting him to, to create courses on self-defense. This guy's a 42-year veteran of the police force, and he's got like a black belt in jujitsu or something like that. I can't remember. He's starting a business on teaching self-defense, and a lot of it is virtual, because first he meets with the client through Zoom, like I do. He meets with the client. He talks to them about their problems. He talks to them about what they need. He sets up a map. He sets up a strategy. And then he implements it. Sometimes it's virtual or he sets up times where he'll have a group workshop. Well, he'll bring 10, 11 clients. Guys, there's so many ways to do this. It's not, I mean, just these are just examples. There's so many ways to do this, y'all. So many ways. The only thing you're limited by is your own imagination. The only thing you're limited by is your own creativity, your own self-beliefs. This ain't for me. I can't do this. Yeah, maybe Gary Vee can do it, but I can't do it. Maybe Tony Robbins can do it, but I can't do it. Maybe Pat Flynn can do it, but I can't do it. That's all BS. That's a false impersonator in your brain right now telling you that you can't do it. It's all BS. He's an apparition. He doesn't even exist. He doesn't even exist. Savage scientist. Good to see you, brother. How are you? Great to see you, man. Come on in. Come on in. Awesome to see you. So you're only limited by the dude inside your head. I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. It's great to have you, Savage Scientist. I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. First, I'm going to take a sip of water. At least I think it's water. Maybe it's vodka. No, I'm kidding. That's a joke. It's not vodka. Of course it's water. Um. I've said this before, and I'll say it again, okay? The only thing stopping you from anything you want in life, it's not your friends, it's not your parents, it's not your kids, it's not your spouse, it's not your boss, it's not Donald Trump, okay? It's not Donald Trump. It's the dude inside here, period. It's not your background, it's not your heritage, it's not your gender, uh, your sexual orientation. It's this dude right here. That's the only thing stopping you from anything you want in life. Period. Period. Okay, the last and final business idea that I myself have implemented. A t-shirt e-commerce store print on demand. This is becoming really, really big. I know Gary Cantrell has trademarked Hard Work Always Wins. He's creating merch. It's all about merch. This this has become a lot cheaper thanks to technology again, okay? So, you know, in the past, if you wanted to do some kind of clothing line or T-shirt brand, you'd have to order large volumes, quantities of shirts and multiple colors and sizes, and you've got all this inventory, and, you know, it's just, like, insane, right? You'd have, to, you'd have all this inventory, and if you didn't sell, you were screwed, and you were forced to kind of guess you know, what would sell and what wouldn't, you know, uh, but now, you know, because of the power of social media, because of the power of your personal brand and creative designs, you can get a t-shirt business, e-commerce t-shirt business use. I would use Shopify and they have a built-in app called, um, uh, print on demand or printful printful. I think it is. And you can literally, if you just exercise a little creativity, you don't have to you don't have to invest in huge bundles print on demand if you tap into something and you really really pay attention to this i know people making just gobs of money with this business print on demand t-shirts oh very cool savage scientist says i'm working on a video that may go viral by design i will talk about what can get large tubers to encourage what i will talk about what can large youtubers do to encourage smaller YouTubers. Very cool, Savage Scientist. That sounds great. 
So print on demand, t-shirt, e-commerce t-shirt business. There's a reason why, y'all, Amazon owns the world. There's a reason why, y'all, my favorite toy store, Toys R Us, just liquefied. They sold, they, they, they went out of business. My favorite toy store as a kid. My kids, I was taking my kids to Toys R Us just a couple months ago. Well, that's over because they're done. Toys R Us is finished. There's a reason why, you guys. It's it's the shifting landscape. It's the shifting marketplace. You might as well join them. You can't beat them. You can't beat the tide. The tide is already here. The hurricane's already passed. So um, absolutely, Launchpad Astronomy. Christian, I would say definitely. I would definitely say so. Yeah, everybody subbed to Savage Scientist. Everybody subbed to Savage Scientist. You know what's really crazy, Christian? And I'm going to fix this right now. I don't think I've even uh, subscribed to your channel. Uh, and I really apologize about that. I'm going to do that right now. Okay. So I am going to, let's see. Uh, no. Okay. Well, I'll do it in a second. It doesn't look like I can do it right now, but I will. I will definitely subscribe to you, um, Savage Scientist and um, Christian. So not only print on demand, but I know drop shipping is a big model. Um, drop shipping is a really big model for e-commerce and uh, definitely, definitely something that um, definitely something that you uh, can implement today. I mean, you can start making money doing this today. There's so many tutorials on YouTube on how to get an e-commerce store running through Shopify, uh, through Magento. Uh, there's all sorts of different platforms if you have your own website. But drop shipping is pretty much the easiest way to start making money today. And I'm an example of this. I'm consulting and I'm actually partnering with a few e-commerce stores that are drop that are drop ship uh, stores for Shopify. Um, and um, it's a it's a great way to start a business selling physical products, selling T-shirts. It's huge. It's going to get bigger. Um, there's all sorts of mechanics and details involved, and you can YouTube all that stuff. But I just want to remind you, it takes a lot, a lot of work. A lot of people start a Shopify store. I'm in a couple of Shopify Facebook groups, and all they do is complain. I'm not getting any sales. I'm getting a lot of traffic, but I'm not getting any sales. Well, you're not putting in the work. That's the problem. And it's just like everything else, personal branding has a lot to do with it. My flagship course, personal branding, is going to launch very soon in, in the online academy that I've created, Beyond the Box Academy. So the link is in the chat. Sethi posted it in the chat. But that, that, I'm telling you right now, um, that is going to help you with all of these business ideas I've talked about. Because it's one thing to create the business, but it's another thing to earn a reputation. It's also another thing to, it's really two disparate things. I'm not disparate, but two separate things you need to work on. One is building a business, but then turning that business into a brand is where you get longevity. So these are things you can start today and you can start making money today. These businesses, these business ideas, but where you create longevity, where you create long-term growth and scale and sustainability is when you put it in the context of a personal brand or a brand that speaks to who you are and what you offer well after you're there or well after you're not there. There's no such thing as passive income. Of course, there's passive income streams. Thank you so much, Christian. I really appreciate the link. There, there, there's, there is such a thing as passive income streams, but your work, there's no such thing as passive income. There just isn't, you guys. This whole coconut and yachts idea, this mentality that you just set up something and it goes to work for you. Yes, it can go to work for you. Yes, there's my, my personal brand goes to work for me. I get leads and clients emailing me every day. I'm very, very blessed. I'm very, very fortunate. I'm very, very lucky but I got to put in the work. I put in tons of hours. I can't even quantify the amount of hours I put into it. So just to review, just to review guys, just to review, these are seven ideas, business ideas that you can start next to nothing, next to nothing. Number one, becoming a coach or consultant. Definitely. If you have, you can monetize your expertise and knowledge. Number two, freelance writing. So many people are making a ton of money 
with freelance writing. You can also do freelance graphic design, uh, freelance video editing or videography, tons of tons of opportunities in freelancing. This is the gig economy for a reason. Number three, a little unorthodox. I have to, I have to sneeze. Oh my God, I have to sneeze. Notice how I had the decency and the gentlemanliness to pause while I was sneezing. I guess it's just rude. Um, it's also gross. <laughs> it's not really that gross, but it's just it's just polite. So number three, home organization businesses. Hello, not home cleaning, home organization. This is research this, by the way. Look this up. Don't just take my word for it. These businesses are doing really, really well. And you can start by creating a headquarter base, a home base, pun intended, uh, online. Virtual assistant, number four. People are doing great. Sethi confirmed this. People are making great money being a virtual assistant. This is basically a remote worker for a company, organization, or an entrepreneur or a solopreneur, and helping them with uh, other duties and uh, office management stuff remotely, okay? Number five, language teaching. If you have some kind of expertise in a language, you could definitely teach people that language online, and you can make gobs of money doing this. A lot of people are doing that. Number six, house or pet sitting. Yes, house sitting and pet sitting. People are madly in love with their pets. We've discovered this creating e-commerce stores that are designed around the pet niche, dog niche, cat niche. People will spend gobs of money on their pets. They treat them like their kids. People care just as much about their home, especially if they own their home. So if they're gone for months or weeks or what have you, they definitely don't want to leave their house unattended to because all sorts of things can go bad boogie. So house sitting has become a lucrative business. And then last but not least, number seven, and there's multiple other ones too. And I'm actually going to throw this out to you guys. Tell me in the comments below, what kind of business ideas I missed, what ones you think I should have mentioned and why, and, or any other creative business ideas that can help all of us create wealth, independence, autonomy, and start making money today online. The last one is number seven is building and running a t-shirt e-commerce store, maybe even a um, print-on-demand uh, t-shirt uh, uh, e-commerce store where you're selling physical products. So those are, the, those are the seven ideas I wanted to share with you guys today. Let me know. No problem, Sethi. Good to see you. Let me, know if, uh, let me know if anybody else. Um, let me know if. Hey, Dom, here's, here's a word of advice, okay? Here's, here's a word of advice. Just telling people to go and sub to my channel it's just not the right way to go about it, brother. I know you're young. I know you're still learning and I know you're, you're just kind of starting in this game, but you know, the, the best thing to do, if you want to get subs, the best thing to do, if you want to grow your YouTube channel or any audience is to keep contributing, keep participating, keep engaging, and it'll happen naturally. Okay. It'll just happen on its own. You don't have to ask people to sub just saying, Hey, go sub to my channel. That's the worst way to go about it, brother. And I'm only saying this because I'm only telling you this truth because you ask anybody else in here and they'll tell you the same thing. So uh, yes, Luis, you're right. So that's just the wrong way to go about it, brother, okay? No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. You don't have to say you're sorry. I'm here to help you. I'm here to show you. Um, but definitely how you want to get subs and how you want to grow your, your channel is just keep creating amazing content. Keep joining unbelievable communities like this one. The Niminati, too, is a great community. Um, you know, uh, his, his group on Facebook do video making YouTube tips and tricks. Um, that's how you do it. That's, that's exactly how you do it. Yeah. And listen to what, uh, listen to what Savage Scientist just said to grow on YouTube is to engage with channels in your niche and don't expect the larger channels to care. Yeah. Christian says, keep creating and mentioning it as appropriate. Uh, and you'll grow. I tripled my sub since I got serious about it in May. Thank you. Thank you, Christian. Very well said. And I just want to say this to you guys. I'm so, so proud of you guys. I'm so grateful for you guys. 
um, you guys just totally, you, you, you inspire me, you motivate, you, you make me want to do this over and over again. If I had 10 of me, um, I would be doing this every day, all day. I just would, because I love it. I absolutely love it. I eat, sleep and breathe for this kind of stuff and meeting you guys and talking with you guys and learning from you guys. By the way, I've always said this, and I'd love your thoughts on this, guys. Education is a two-way street. It is a co-composing relationship. It's not just me teaching. We're all human beings. We're all, and I don't care if you're five. I don't care if you're 55. We all have something to offer. So it's not just Professor Nez wagging his finger and saying, listen to me. I tell my students this as well, and I want to share this with all of you. It's a collaborative process. We're all in this for, together. I learn just as much from you as hopefully, hopefully you get from me. And I just want to say thank you. You guys rock. You guys are awesome. And uh, I love each and every one of you. And I hope to see you guys again. I'll take a couple of last second questions if you want to. Boy, what a long, long stream. But uh, I, I definitely would love to, if there's anybody have any last second questions, I'm happy to answer them. Um, I'm not going to be here next Sunday. I'm thinking that Sunday is at 1 p.m. every week. You know, I'm kind of loving this time. I'm loving this day to do live streaming on YouTube. And I would love to hear from you. What do you want me to talk about? What do you guys want me to, do you guys want to learn about personal branding? Do you guys want to learn more about content creation? You want to learn more about live streaming, podcasting? Do you want to learn more about online business? Do you want to learn more about communications, mindset? self-inquiry, self-investigation, self-awareness. What is it that you want to learn more about? Let me know. Talk to me. I'm here for you. Leave those in the comments below. Yes, I agree, Savage Scientist. Absolutely. Absolutely. What a great name for a channel, too. Two unbelievable names, Launchpad Astronomy and Savage Scientist. Great, great names. I love it. And Sethi has a great name for his channel, too, Flipped Classroom Tutorials. Just awesome stuff. And so does Luis. Luis has a great name, Tech for Your Needs. Definitely has a great one. Look at this. I love it. I love it. You guys are already talking about collaboration. Fantastic. Having a creative name for your channel is a beautiful start. It's a real beautiful start. Absolutely. I love it. Yes. Yes, Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, I love all of y'all. Thank you so much for joining us. This is your resident live stream content creator, personal brand coach, Professor Nez, LinkedIn consultant, saying thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Feel free to share this out. I'm going to leave links in the description below to all the stuff that we talked about today, as well as the Beyond the Box Academy link in case you want to sign up there. I'm going to be bringing boat loads, mountain loads, volcano loads, ocean loads. I don't even know how much. It's going to be insane, the amount of content I'm going to be pumping into Beyond the Box Academy. It's going to be the ultimate online training academy on the planet. I'm telling you it is. Thank you so much, Christian. Thank you so much, Dom. Thank you so much, Savage Scientist. Tech for your needs, Luis. Thank you so much, Sethi, Gord, uh, Mayoa. Thank you so much. It's so great to see Luke. It's so great to see um, all of y'all. You guys just rocked. You rocked today, and it was just fantastic to see you. Thank you, Dom. Uh, just a fantastic pleasure, and I hope to see you guys soon. As I said before, um, I'm not going to be here next Sunday, so there won't be a next Sunday live stream. You know, there might be an alternative day. I might actually – oh, you know what? Hold up before you leave. Maybe I'll do a Saturday stream next week because I'm going out of town next Sunday. But maybe I'll do a Saturday stream. Thank you so much, Sam and Savage Scientist. By the way, Savage, um, get admittance into my closed Facebook group, facebook.com forward slash groups Nez Nation. I want you in that group, Savage Scientist. Um, so what if I did a Saturday stream? What do you guys think about a Saturday stream? Instead of our normal uh, day and time on Sundays uh, at 1 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, what if I did a Saturday stream? Yeah, well, no, well, that's interesting because, oh, you know what? What would be kind of cool? I guess you guys might be streamed out by then, huh, Christian? Because Nimmin starts really early and he goes all the way until the afternoon, doesn't he? 
Yeah, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Um, well, I'd be happy if you even watch the replay. I'll be even, I'd be even happy if you watch the replay. So I'm not too worried about it. But I'd like to keep this consistency with my YouTube live show and my YouTube live stream. By the way, don't forget, we have an unbelievable podcast, Nez Nation Live, Personal Branding 101. We're on iTunes. We're on Google Play. We're on Stitcher. We would love it if you'd subscribe there. Um, we also have, you know, our very own Facebook page, Nez Nation Live Stream Podcast Show, Personal Branding 101. Um, but I really want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel more than anything because I love this community. As Savage said, love this community, and I love the Sunday stream. And, yeah, thank you, Christian. Go check out the podcast. And don't forget, write us a little review, a five-star review on iTunes. I'd really appreciate it. It would mean the world to me. Um, it really counts the most on, uh, it really counts the most on, on iTunes. Uh, that would be great. Even if you're on Android. Um, but yeah, I'm loving this weekly live stream. I want to keep this going. I want to keep this, uh, uh, consistent. So again, before I go, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for participating. Thank you for being a part of the Nez Nation group, the Nez Nation family, where we're coming together to inspire each other, help each other, uplift each other, and, you know, communicate to each other how we can be more human, bringing more humanness to this digitalness. That's the aim. That is the absolute aim. Yeah, I will. I, I definitely will. I'll, I'll definitely put a link to it. And as a matter of fact, before I get out of here, Savage, I'll put a link. I think it'll let me put a link, won't it, uh, Christian? Will it let me put a link to it? I wonder if it will. I think it will. Yeah. So it's basically Nez Nation. Here's the link right here. Let me see if I can put it in there. Yeah. So there's the. See, it says it won't let me put the link in. It's really interesting. I guess I can't put the link in. Is that right? Edit and try again. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Maybe I don't need to put that. Okay, there it is. Is that it right there? Yeah, that's the that's the group right there. So that should take you. That should take you directly there. Thank you, Savage. And then I'll leave another link to the. Um, I'll leave another link to um, our Facebook. You need to hit the notifications because I have a great interview. Oh, you know what? I have an interview next Saturday with Chelsea Peets. She's a camera confidence professional keynote speaker. You, you guys don't want to miss that. You guys definitely don't want to miss that. Uh, but let me put a link to this page as well. I would love for you guys to like this page. I got so many pages. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, there's another link to our actual Facebook page for the Nez Nation Live podcast live stream. And I would love for you guys to join that. We got Chelsea Peets coming on this Saturday. And so, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Luis. So we'd love for you guys to join us. Chelsea is doing amazing stuff, helping, coaching people on camera communications. You know, she's just on fire. This girl is on fire. So you don't want to miss that. That's going to be a great live stream podcast show. You can ask her questions. She's going to be taking questions live. Oh, my God. Yeah. Make sure you hit the notifications button. When you, when you like the page, the Facebook page, make sure you hit the notifications and hit, click on see first so that, and so that you also get a, uh, a notification, a banner notification when we go live because that's going to be huge. But I'll be advertising. I'll be marketing. I'll be – promoting the show um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday for sure. So you'll, you'll, you'll get word of that. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, guys. Thank you so, so much. Always a pleasure seeing you. Always a pleasure having you. I can't tell you how much um, – I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys. And I will see you guys very, very shortly. It is I, Professor Nez, on behalf of Nez Nation, thanking you so much for joining us. Have a wonderful